Yesterday, I had the incredibly frustrating experience of trying to package a Python app on Mac. It's enough to make you learn Swift just to package it. It's that crazy. And so today, I'm going to try and help you through this, well, Byzantine process. Today, we're going to be working with PyCharm. It doesn't matter whether it's Community Edition or Professional Edition. This one is the Professional Edition, but none of the functionality is uh, any different to what you would be doing in Community Edition. So first things first, make a project. Uh, and then we need to do a pip install. There is the proper official way that you should do it. The way that you go into the packaging and do it. Or there is the sneaky, tricky way, which is you make a Python file. Then uh, you just import what you need to import. Pretty simple so far. And then what we do is we use the autocorrect. So right click on it. It shows context actions and it does the pip install pretty much for you. Thanks to the YouTuber who showed me that old trick, a lot quicker than navigating the menus. Now this seems to be the undocumented bit. You absolutely have to have an ICS file. So I've grabbed this icon from flaticon.com, just a free thing. And of course uh, you can see it, so I'm acknowledging it. And then what you've got to do is find a website of some sort that will convert, say, a PNG to an ICNS file. Um, honestly, the online converters seem to be the best. I'm sure there are some apps to do this as well. Maybe even Photoshop does it, I don't know. But the app seems easy. And once you've done it, you choose your file, your PNG file, and then you wait for it to convert. Once you have your ICNS file, you can then right click and save target as and then you're ready to go it's worth giving it a quick check in preview just to make sure it's all right and then naming it something sensible is a good idea now i want to spend a bit of time just having a little look at this in a bit more detail um, because these bits are all very very important so let's go through this in a little bit of detail these are the files that you need. Now I've called it main.py because that's the normal for Python. And that's the part where you put the file with the code that you want. In this case, I've put a little Tekinter sorting app, which is very simple and uh, nice for you to do it. And I think this is a good example of the kind of thing you'd want to get turned into an app. You have your pyinstall.py. And that is going to be very important because that means we don't have to directly use the command line, which is, shall we say, a little bit messy in Mac if you don't know your way around. So hopefully this is an easy way. And most importantly of all, your sorts.icns file, because without this, it will not run it or do it. So the file with your code in, keep it simple. Make one file with all your functions in. A file with the commands for Py installer and the icon. Absolutely compulsory on Mac OS. Optional on Windows, it turns out. That's the first half. Now let's have a look at the pyinstall.py. So this is the file that we are using to run it. And what we will do in a minute is run it. But let's have a look through it in a little bit of detail. These few bits are the compulsory part. This is what says, rather than use the command line, let's actually use a Python file, which is handy. Then we have the name of your code file. I think most of you will use main.py and that's fine. This says, Create a window for your app. In other words, it ensures that you actually use the GUI for it. Then the next one is a Tekinter app. So we do this because it's Tekinter app. We don't need a command line app. If your app is just command line, then don't use this line. And this, of course, is the name of the icon. Very, very important. Otherwise, you're going to have a massive error. Back to the action. So what we're going to go now is go to our pyinstall.py and then we are going to run it. And if all is well, we actually will have an app. And I will tell you, this took me a long time to get right. So next thing you probably want to do is check that it's OK. And the file itself is actually found in the dist area. Um, there's a few ways to get to it, but the easiest is probably to go through PyCharm and open in Finder. 
Once there, we can have a look, check it through, double click. There we are, we've got our main app. It loads up straight away. And what a beautiful app it is, amazing. So now we actually have an app that we can use and the rest of the Mac installation process is actually really easy. You can rename the app simply by renaming the file, which in this case is a dot app. And it's actually an archive. That's just the way that apps have always worked in Mac. And then of course we can install it. So if we want to install it, all we've got to do is copy it across into our applications folder. Now it will even feature in things like the search bar and anything else we'd like to have on, on the app. And I think that's really powerful. And now it's a real app and it feels real to students. If you want to share it with other people, you can just zip it up. That's probably the easiest way for those who know how to install non-App Store apps. A sub to the channel would be absolutely awesome. I try to make content that really helps my students. So please watch, enjoy, and hopefully this works in 2024 and it will continue to work for quite a while longer. All the resources and everything else are in the description.